Hey Rangers, welcome to Super Important Views. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we're going over the Kenner Alien Queen Hive Set. Hey Steve, aren't you sitting in my chair? This, this should be my review. It's aliens, I got this. But, nope. But I, I bought this. That's cool. You know what? See this thing? You're not. Give, me, you're give not it to not me. We're it opening it. We're gonna slime Woody. That sounds wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded amazing. We're keeping that. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Kenner play set that has the most realistic looking queen that we had for a long time back when we were a child. And it's for ages four and up and super excited to get this chick out of her prison because this is a figure I've actually been wanting for a long time now. Sad that Arnaz actually got it before I did. But that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. You're welcome. I got a new in the box unopened. <laughs> it was new. We just we tanked that value, value pretty freaking down. quick. <laughs> but anyways, for the packaging, love the front of the box where you have this really nice, more hand-drawn appearance of the Alien Queen with whatever the hell that thing is coming out it's that a, It's a penis. Okay. Got some person getting slimed there with a laser gun and robot hands. Looks pretty sweet. Again, not sure that's exactly how the queen's sack egg thing works, but whatever. Also get the nice cool alien on the side here. Shows you the figure inside with bonus ooze. What ooze? Mine didn't come with ooze. I'm pretty sure we just saw it. Top of the packaging, just more of the same as what we saw on the front. More of the same. More of the same. And on the back of the packaging, just get a nice image of everything you get inside of the packaging with an actual colonial marine standing on the side. Tells you what it does. Some more diagrams. You know, the, the sad thing is I'm most excited about is that little feature right there at the end, Steve. You want to point at it? That one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That thing's actually really sweet. And on the bottom, man, more of the same except for a ginormous cut that wasn't in the pictures when Ernest ordered it. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty much it. So let's get this chick opened up out of her cardboard prison. All right, so now that we have the queenie open up out of her cardboard prison, first we're going to go over her accessories, starting with the giant egg sack playset, which there is going to be some assembly required, which you're going to have to attach the sack to the base. This part actually has to be attached on, which is the lid for the ooze canister. This little nub right here has to be attached, and I'll show the little guy. You know what? Just come on, come on, penis. Just Thank you. Jeez, man. And you're also gonna have to sit the drip tray into the bottom of the display. All right, so for a closer look at the giant egg sacks details, the sack itself is made out of a translucent green plastic. Overall, has a lot of very nice details in there. Really like the bulging and the vein work that they have here. And what's also really cool too is on the top here, it actually has a molded in face hugger. Looks pretty sweet. And that part lifts up so you guys can see the inside where you're going to be applying the slime into. What slime? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> on the side of the sack, you get the impression of a person actually kind of warping into the sack. Which, I don't know, where's this, like, his feet, where are they supposed to go, like? Yeah, they don't really have a bottom, do they? They just kind of broke them off and stuck them into the thing. I guess, because there's not really a... I guess they'd be right there. Huh. If that makes sense. You can kind of see a boot. Oh, look right at there. that. Oh, there so, alright, that, that kind of makes sense. But then again, I feel super sorry for this person right here then, because he literally is stuck for the rest of his life staring up at that guy's crotch. I mean, look at this guy, too. Oh, yeah, and the drip pan right here, which is actually removable. Which, if I can get it out... There we go. You guys can get a little bit of a better look at the person inside of there. It's overall super creepy. Not Don't sure forget. why he's in the floor, though. Because that part's actually a little weird. Don't forget, this thing has peg holes in it where you can put the character stand. Yep. Which, uh, right here. So when you have the sack over top of them, you can go into them, which I'll show you guys here in just a few. Do we have a character that fits in there? Yes, I do. Sweet. I actually have a couple. And for the rest of the detail work here for the base, looks really nice too overall. Where you get that very alien appearance that you saw in the sections of aliens. Where the Colonial Marines are actually going through the facility and they've already converted into their hive. And overall the base here kind of helps to replicate that sense, which is pretty sweet overall. In a really good way. Yeah, you also get a nice alien egg here, which a chest burster comes out of for reasons. But overall, still pretty sweet. And then also what's the coolest accessory. Is right here you notice that there's a peg hole. Which what this actually comes with is on the queen here. There's actually a little peg that kind of slides into the back of her butt here. So you slide that onto there. And then you just peg this 
right into the hole. And the queen sits on the back of this thing, so you get to help replicate that scene from the film where she's attached to it. Overall, it actually looks really sweet. And also like too that you could just slide right out of there too, so you don't really have to worry about breaking it. So, really cool accessory. And then for the next accessory, we have Arnez's little helper, friend, whatever you want to call it. All right, do, do explain this to me is, why is there a chest burster coming out of the egg? Um, I'm going to assume they've never seen the movie. <laughs> or is that even a chest one. burster? What is that? Yeah, because it has arms. Like right here, you'll notice that there's actually some molded arms in there. Which looks really good in details. Yeah, like I actually like the details. Like it's super creepy. And again, for a kid's toy, this thing looks freaking terrifying. Like even the nice gnarly looking teeth inside of the mold. The tail's kind of wrapping up into the back of the head. Which I did think that this was a spine for the longest time. But I'm pretty sure it's the tail and it just kind of curls up into itself. But overall, they did a really great job of molding that in whatever this is supposed to actually be. Okay, what's up with that ball at the bottom? Okay, so that is essentially molded so that you're actually able to sit inside of the base. Because what you do is you take your little chest burster, stick them in the egg here, and you just leave them alone. And then you'll notice right here... Steve, I want to push the button. You want to push the button? I want to push the button. Oh, All right, right. push the button. But right here, there's a little lever. You just kind of flick down on it. <laughs> but next we'll go over the queen alien here, which is actually the most accurate looking queen alien that we get out of the Kenner line. Like this thing actually overall, minus the weird whippy little tail on the back of it, which just kind of goes wherever it freaking feels like, which you also had to attach to when you get out of the packaging. But again, we kind of were not smart about it and attached everything before we did this video and well, the stuff doesn't really want to come out easily. It's not the smart part, it's just that we got real excited about this. Yeah, we're like, woo, aliens! But for the detail work for the head crest, actually looks pretty decent overall where it's this really nice jet black with a lot of nice, great molded details here to help replicate the crest that you see in the film. Other than that section right here is a little bit of an eyesore. Which, I don't know what that is. What is it supposed to be like? Um, I don't know. I think that's just where the top of the crest slots into the neck, I'm assuming, is what it looks like. So they just left it like that? Yep. And then it's an old toy, so it's not like... This was expected to be played with heavily, so kids don't really care. As a collector, though, not the most clean-looking thing, Appealing but still thing. works good. And then also for the face sculpt here, looks very nice, too. We got that nice metallic silver for the teeth. You can also see a little bit of the mini mouth on the inside of her larger mouth. And what's actually cool too is when you rotate her head, it actually shifts along with it. That's actually probably my favorite thing about this figure. Is it just kind of helps to give it that appearance like it did in the film when it starts rotating her head. And it looks really cool. Which I don't understand why like the NECA one doesn't have that. Um, Stupid huge figure and it's kind of to be a lost gimmick on something that's just going to stand on your shelf. This is expected to be played with, so it's kind of nice to see it replicating those movements. <laughs> Little did they know that it's going to go on my shelf and never be opened again. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, Kenner. Ah, no. And then for the rest of her body, it looks pretty good overall, too. Again, has a lot of nice molded skeletal details. Has those extra little hands flailing out from the front of her chest. Freaky. And Yeah, and then her larger arms on the side, which again, very accurate for the queen. Even has the spines sticking out of the back here, too, just like you would have seen. Overall, especially for it being a slimmed down version, still looks really good. Can you move that thing itself? These things? Yeah. Uh, no, they're pretty well fixated. And then I'll show you guys the rest of her body work. And then for her legs, overall, look nice too. With her fancy little stilettos on the bottom. You're just jealous because the queen wears the boots. Yeah, I'm a fancy of her footwear. Looks really great overall. Even with her little tail with the nice spike protrusion at the end. And overall... For how cheap this feels, because again, it's an old action figure. It doesn't really feel super secure and firm, especially compared to the other queen. But then again, the other queen isn't very movie accurate. Well, this one definitely harkens a lot more back to the Aliens film. Oh, so you're saying when that Kenner queen comes in that I order, I'm going to be disappointed? Yeah, because she has six arms. What? I got her in the box. I'll show you guys in comparisons. But overall, for the details, it looks fantastic on this figure overall, especially for how old it is. And for our articulation, that could look a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. And again, this little section here moves on its own. Arms can rotate all the way around. 
but that's pretty much it there. These little arms on the insides don't move at all, so they just kind of sit there and look pretty, I guess. Creepy, not yep. pretty. For her legs, can move a little bit forward, a little bit back, but the plastic here is going to hinder the movements. And then for the whippy tail, it just swings side to side, but it's not really fixated in there, so it just kind of moves on its own. Okay, so next we're going to show you guys how you set up the ooze. Which first, you're going to want to grab a Kenner alien figure, which we grabbed Ripley here because it seemed fitting. Right here, you'll notice that there's some pegs sticking out from the base here. You're going to want to insert in the peg holes in the bottom of her feet. You're not going to be able to get both her feet into them, so you just kind of pick one and go with it. And then you just stick her back in. Which, actually, I'm going to stick her in a little bit farther just so when the ooze comes out, it's going to definitely go into okay, the pan here. yet again, I really don't know what you're talking about, the ooze. I seriously do not know. And then we're going to take the ooze. You're going to want to lift this section up. Yes. <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is half the value of that Hand door. it over. Is this unopened? I don't know. The, uh, the unopened part, <laughs> definitely. You still have it. It's, It'll still have it. It'll be good. But it still has ooze inside of it. No. You can reseal it. I got Teflon tape. No. Hand it over. Uh-uh. Yep. No. Yep. 25 minutes later. Uh, I got a hold of it, guys. You're going to hear Arndez crying in the background for a second as I try to peel this back. Or oh, are you going to hear Steve crying because uh, I'm going to stab him? Uh, there we go. Ow. Ow, stop it. I finally got it oh, off. son of a... <laughs> Woo. <laughs> oh. There we go. Got it off. going to pop that My bad boy $40 ooze. <laughs> hold on a second, gentlemen. Watch, it's going to be dried up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. It's going to be garbage. God. Well, whatever it is. How the hell are kids supposed to open this up? Oh. Well, it's definitely gooey. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Oh, I'm making poopy sounds. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's going to go through. Well, let's try it. Let's take the ooze. Drop it in there. There we go. Good to go. Now we're just going to slide this open. Maybe. Maybe. In due time. Here, I got a solution. Poke at it. <laughs> just start jabbing out with my finger and hope for the best. Eh. <laughs> Should have kept it in there. At least it was worth the money. <laughs> Fit to the whole damn you. You probably could have added some water to it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because it is water based uh, a solution, so. Probably just need some more water. Alright, coming back. Alright, guys, we got the concoction working. Oh, it's all over my but, head. <laughs> but uh, it's not pretty, so we're just gonna wing it, see what happens. Oh, God, it's dripping on his face. <laughs> it's dripping on also, we swapped out Woody for uh, Ripley for Woody because we got one shot on this. We wanted to make it worthwhile, so here we go. <laughs> oh. oh, Woody. <laughs> All right, for a quick comparison, here we have our Queen Alien playset with some other Kenner figures with the Kenner Ripley and Apex. Who's Apex, Steve? You need to explain this to people. All right, so he is... I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I know he's just mainly a dude that dresses up as an alien, and he has a little missile launcher. Damn it, I gotta find that now. <laughs> and here we have the playset with some Kenner Predator action figures. With the Elder Predator and the Alien Predator playset. Okay, two things. One, you stole my comparison. And two, why are these in boxes? You can't compare them if they're in boxes, Steve. Yeah, I can. People can see that how much they compare in size. I only have them in packages, man. What more do you want from me? Open out here with her, just like she is. And for some other comparisons, here she is next to the Queen Face Hugger and the Alien Queen, the one with the six arms, right? The weird one? Yep. You guys can see in the packaging, she has six arms total. Okay, well, yet again, we need this outside of package, Steve. Outside. Moving on. And for this weird comparison, we have the NECA Queen, which is the sad thing to mention that they're almost close to the price. Sad, right? Yeah. And here she is with the McFarlane Alien Queen from Alien vs. Predator, which is actually not a bad scale comparison. So overall, the Kenner Alien playset, I think this thing is actually pretty sweet overall, especially if you're a big Kenner fan, because it's definitely the most movie-accurate alien you're going to get out of the set. 
Plus, it's one of the only real play sets that you can get with the actual egg sack attached. What I really love about this is all the little gadget and little things that it comes with that actually makes it all like together look amazing. And it, so worth the price to me. I mean, I don't know how much it was when it came out first, but right now, I, I have no hesitations buying this or no regrets at all. Yeah, we picked it up for about 75 bucks, which seems to be a pretty reasonable deal for this figure after inflation. It being a slightly harder Kenner figure to get a hold of. Then again, even though some of the stuff on it isn't quite accurate to the alien lore, but then again, the Queen is still awesome to look at. Yeah. And just, in, and just in general, pretty sweet set. My favorite thing about this place had Steve that it's mine. Eh, uh, he probably it in my face. One day you'll be mine. One day. At least I got you to open the slime, so that just makes it worthwhile for me anyways. Yeah, it was a half the value of what that thing was worth. And what did you guys think of the Kenner Alien playset? Please let us know in the comment section below. And we'll also have some closer pictures of this on Facebook if you want to click the link description below. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Woody making appearance, see? Woody's waiting. He's waiting for the ooze.